Now it's out that stories. Poster Ben Epson believes that the four independent candidates in this year's elections are likely to record less than 1% of the total votes cast. According to him, although flag bearer of the National Democratic Party, Nana Kunedu Ajiman Rollins, stands tall among them, her impact would be minimal. We bring you the first part of the three part story on various presidential candidates. A report by Daniel Opoku. About four presidential hopefuls have picked up forms to contest this year's elections. Nana Kudedu Ajman Rawlings for the National Democratic Party and Ikria Donkor for the Ghana Freedom Party. Kofi Wayo of the United Renaissance Party and presidential hopeful Apalo. However, Posa Benefson believes the four aspirants are likely to record less than 1% in this year's elections. I mean, if even in 2008, uh, 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 certified party which has been which has had three elections gets 1.3 percent. PNC got less than 0.83 percent. I mean, for me, if any of these four gets one percent and above, they will be. We haven't finished our opinion pool, but clearly from my experience, these are people that if they get more than one percent each, I'll be very surprised. We sort to find out what the one percent means for the electoral process. But therefore, I don't call his candidacy brings some freshness. Freshness in the sense that yes, it's a farmer. Set up a political party is not that difficult. She set it up. She may not be fully literate in you and I the way we parrot our English, but she's got the right to be able to express herself. According to him, although Nana Kunedu Ajman Rollins stands tall amongst the four hopefuls, her impact will be minimal. If, if five minutes one gets two percent, I'll be very surprised. Let's see what happens. We haven't finished the work, but I'm just taking that. That's how I've narrowed into this bottom four, then the middle three of Ayariga, Indum, and Sakara. Then you have Muhammad and Akufuadu. 